Yeah. We are 4.5 on Apple Podcasts out of five. What does that mean? 4.5 out of five. It's, not, it's very good. You think so? Yeah. yeah. 95% you ever got in your life over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is an episode which I am dreading. As you can see, the cameraman is also the podcaster today. This fellow. Called... How, how does he do this? Okay. No, this is not the point on a live podcast to ask questions and tutorials. This is a, where Abbas gets very infuriated and angry as a professional. No, no, I'm always calm and composed. By the way, he saw you on stage at that show we did. What's the name? I forgot. Uh, Shreya Sishu. Ah, oh, Cyrus and the Bakra. I saw you on stage, and he was very and impressed. You were, oh, you thank were very you so good. Much. She said. Oh, because you, you said I only he only plays Niv. That's not true. He very much plays you. <laughs> and in fact, he was astounded. He said, because I think people don't know this about you who've only seen the podcast, is that you're very soft-spoken, but you're not exactly that on stage. It's not like you're jungly. So so my oh. thing to him was that normally I watch you on the podcast where you're a sort of soft-spoken, quiet fellow. Yeah, yeah. And then you come alive like a beast on stage. <laughs> yeah. So you're Loud like, and you're, raucous. It, it, for people who don't understand, you're like an erection. Yeah. yeah. You know, because you're pl- flaccid and quiet yeah. and then suddenly you're huge and like yeah, overbearing. The, and The stage is my vibe. And in your face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Raghuram from Indian Ocean is firing away with his yes. camera in the meantime. They put an inset for the later show. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Uh, Abbas, you're in charge. But uh, before we start the whole show, um, the, the reason we're doing this show is the glory of Kunal Vijaykar. No, yeah. no, you if don't have another uh, guest. Uh, uh, Nobody's nub- turned up. <laughs> that one second, one me. second. The Das Ratna yeah. um, that we have, the, the Nav, and yeah. then there's the 10th one. Yeah. And the 10th Ratna, and don't make a Ratna part of joke. <laughs> <laughs> lowbrow humor is uh, Kunal Vijay. Yes, of course. Uh, who are the other nine? Uh, well, Amitabh Bachchan, I mean, Shah Rukh Khan, nine, 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 nine jewels. Yeah, nine. That's yeah. where it comes from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what the hell? Catch up, man. <laughs> where have you been? Also, are we applying those same standards to today's? Of course. Okay. Except Akbar is not allowed because apparently he lost the battle yeah. of Panipat, the second yeah, one. Yeah. In Rajasthan, they've changed the textbooks mm. and given the victory to Liverpool. Mm. Whatever. <laughs> it's, you know, whatever. We make up our own story. <laughs> I, I, I won't be king just to do that. I'll just change things. Um. Okay. Bengaluru will now be called Mukesh Nagar. That's it. Finished. Over. Are you also one of the Ratnas? I didn't make it. Okay. I didn't make it. I have issues. Who's who's qualifying them? My problem was the eight <laughs> ratnas. They caused traffic disturbances mm, with the VIP movement. So yeah. you know, I could be the ninth. Then, you know. I said no. Okay, let's get back to Vijay Kunalkar as the mm. Parsis call him. He's given up. Mm. No, no, but it's happened so many you, times. Since, since you've complained so bitterly about the VIP movement through all your podcasts, was it better during the Uddhav regime or is it worse this is a beautiful now question. that there is a very politically this is a colored yeah, 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 this yeah, is yeah. a very interesting question it's an intelligent question because it also tells you which faction you're on, with, yeah, you know, on the really, side that's the main question <laughs> mm. uh, I would say that Uddhav was terrible uh-huh. because it was quite bad because he used to go for walks you know, in the Malbar Hill area. And if he goes for a walk, then 500 people have to cordon off yeah. the area and all yeah. that. He is the chief minister. Mm. Um, suddenly, you're, you're stuck there and they're saying, Yaha se mat jana. Yaha se mat jana? Gumne ke lega, chief minister. I'm like, seriously? <laughs> it's a pandemic. He's gone for a walk. Uh, he needs to clear, you know, clear his mind a little bit. So that was bad. Mm. But Iknath Shinde has raised the bar. Mm. If you, I mean, it's never been like this. He has three houses, official houses. One is, so I'm sandwiched between the three houses, by the way. So we, the poor, live between the, where the mantris live. The of rich, course. you know. We yeah. look and stare at them, you know, like mm. beggars out say Taj Mahal and that's literally, literally it so because of that we are just always trifurcated by these guys and then it just extends to Valkeshwar Marine Drive it's all I went from Malad yesterday I went in 1 hour 18 minutes 1 hour 8 minutes I reached from uh, at 5.33 only I will check all these mm. things while the mm. world is of dying course, yeah. 5.30 left Malad and reached Malbar Hill into my house at 6.42 1 hour 9 minutes my mother on the other hand took 1 hour 7 to 8 to go from Churchgate to Malbar Hill 7 kilometers mm. why? because they were moving around with the red light ring even I got the same problem from. Uh, but you're Prabhadevi. one of them. You're a VIP. <laughs> I'm not. I don't have a red light at least. No. And I don't have three cars ahead of me and four cars do, behind. Do me. you have a blue light? Do you have no, I don't light? have any light. Huh? No light ahead or behind. It's, or it's above amazing me. that they went for the red light, considering what it means, you know, red light area and all that. Mm. No, I'm just thinking. Okay. I mean, you should think it through, <laughs> right? No, but any, anybody between. who's gone to a red light area knows there are no red lights there. That's true. Mm. Yeah. But then why was it called red light? I don't know. We'd I think it comes from uh, the traffic signals. No, in Wait. Amsterdam, I think it's still they still have. We women. went to Amsterdam. Kunal went to one of those women. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> aren't they standing under red light? Got a black eye, not from sex. <laughs> negotiating, Indian, Indian in a prostitute. So, you know, I mean, it's always wrong the yeah. negotiation. Yeah. Mm. 
मुंबई <laughs> 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 Yeah. I'm going to the rest of Maharashtra. Mm. So Mumbai is not part of Maharashtra. I never said that. I'm, I'm okay with <laughs> I that. I never said that. I'm okay with that. Give me my own state, Mumbai. I never said I've that. I've been saying that we have to rename India Vikas Nagar. I feel that's the word that's really catching. Who's up. Vikas? Well, if you follow the speeches of Gunas, <laughs> not into comedy. Abba, so even this, this is up. The fun is that how he'll not know what you're saying. Yeah. Vikas uh, has been on his way since the last seventy years. We're all waiting for him to arrive. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah hopefully, yeah. he will yeah, one day. Yeah. And every area he goes to, it's oh, more Vikas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> coming soon. Vikas, <laughs> Northeast. Vikas, Bengal. Vikas, uh, bro. Let's get back yeah. to the Vikas for you. What was it? <laughs> what you, was you, the tell us whether you're doing different different places places in Maharashtra. So we're going to Maharashtra. I have just discovered that I'm going to places that there are no airports in, which just panic the shit out of me. Uh, but wow. Amravati, for example, which I don't know how we're going to. So you're really there. promoting tourism. I can say that. Airport भी नहीं है, कुछ नहीं है, ऐसी काव कंफर्ट नहीं मिलेगा इसमें. Why go here? Yeah? <laughs> no, but the food's great in yeah. most. Have you eaten in any of these places? I have eaten. I have eaten in Nagpur. I have eaten in Nagpur. No, Nagpur is a proper city, brother. I'm talking about Savantwadi. I have eaten. Huh. Um, Malwan, I have eaten. So um, you're going to meet the real great. Aurangabad, I have eaten. Huh. Khandeshi food, I have eaten. Yes, I have eaten in smaller parts of huh. the less sort of uh, less known parts of. Maharashtra. So what is the big? You we discuss how Tamil Nadu is actually more non-veg than veg ones. It but is. But what is the Maharashtra breakup? Non-veg versus veg. Abbas and me are listening intently to this. Uh, I, or we I may or stay or leave Maharashtra depending on this answer. See now, if huh. see predominantly in most of the country. It is only the Brahmins who are vegetarian. The rest of the yeah. you say it like castes. you hate the Brahmins. <laughs> oh, I try. <tried. laughs> Look at me, said it. No, 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 only I, the Brahmins are vegetarian. The rest of the country <laughs> are non-vegetarian. So now, if yeah. you find out the find out the statistics of what percentage it is you have Brahmins non-veg and non-Brahmins, yeah. you figure out the. It's thing. a great fallacy. You know, yeah, that India yeah. is vegetarian. If you look at it from the point of view of numbers, we're not we're a huge vegetarian mm, population, mm. but it's almost equal or. Little so more. so you know the 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 uh, the uh, the Punjab mm. is largely yeah. vegetarian, which yeah. you don't realize. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, so Punjab, Rajasthan, and then Gujarat. I think that is the sequence of vegetarian. So their state. butter chicken is only not butter. South India. <laughs> not the <laughs> big that Tamil not Nadu. Not yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. South India is more non-veg. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. It is. And Bengal is. is pure non-veg. Yeah. I mean, because the coastal regions, I'm assuming, have to be non-vegetarian because I have like seafood is there. No, I have proof yeah. about Bengal. Not just coastal thing. Yogi Aditya went there and mm. on his uh, platform in his manifesto for you know BJP coming yeah. there, he said we'll make it vegetarian. Mm. <laughs> they, he had to run from the. They, they couldn't protect him. He had uh, to leave the state. Hmm. You don't go to Bengal and say I'm going to make you vegetarian. Are you hmm. mad? There hmm. is only one constituency in the whole country which, when you promise vegetarianism, you get elected. Valkeshwar. Very lips. <laughs> <laughs> Where Amit Doshi, you know, he, he's yeah. like Asterix, that one village is fighting the, you know, the Romans. So Amit Doshi with his flag is standing there. Ah, pizza, <laughs> chicken tikka masala. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Actually, uh, it's become very hardcore veg. Okay, let's get back to the whole thing. So, what's the spin on this? Your, uh, what are we? What are you? Are we going to see the delights of Maharashtra? Yeah, predominantly it's going to be food, um, and well, the hopefully, also. hopefully a little bit of culture. And what the hell is that? Guarded <laughs> comment. Hopefully, um, no, no, no. Like hope, I might be. No, no. Hopefully, is if we can manage to access a little bit of dance and drama and that kind of stuff. Okay. So, so the the yeah. real. Well, what, yeah. I, I think we, we sell the cities too much. Right? Nobody seems we ourselves yeah. don't know anything of. I'm bored of the, the cities now. The foreigner comes and shoots. Yeah. yeah. They go to the interior, shoot something. You're wondering what? That's right there. Mm. Yeah. It's embarrassing. Yeah, no, and uh, how you done the research? How how, how does it? How do you plan this? Uh, Because I know you don't have the patience. So no, what, but, how do you no, no, but there are writers, you know, who are doing the research. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. There's a team so of writers who've gone there and done recce's and all. No, by uh, the production team has gone and done recce's. Okay. And the writers have done recce's in. How do you, of, you tolerate all this work? Yeah. I don't do it. No. That's amazing. <laughs> they are doing it. I would just get bored. <laughs> just turning up. I will now go and recce it. Then I will taste it. Then I will find the artist and put it all together. 
See, yeah. unlike you, uh, Kunal actually uh, be careful. Gives credit to the people who work behind the scenes. Like we, oh, he doesn't. We give you topics. We give you who the guest is, <laughs> guest ka background. Nothing. You're like you my, come. You're like a mother figure, and you breastfeed me. Literally, I feel that. Yeah. yeah. Only you don't appreciate. You don't. I appreciate your breast. <laughs> I would not say no. Whether you're Amravati or Nagpur, what about the you. what about the milk inside them? We want to discuss it. Yeah, sure. I feel, uh, mummy, it's a bit salty. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't we cancelled? I have no idea. The nicest things we've said is political, frankly yeah. speaking. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, so that's that. And uh, uh, I start. Uh, we start shooting at the end of the month. Yeah. And then we'll uh, finish by December end. Right. And then you think you want to do this like a series? Yeah. I'm, I'm I think the, this first the hinterland, first, if you want to call it that, that's not been exposed. See, I'll tell you enough. honestly, the food in the hinterland is the best always. Even in Mumbai, you have to find smaller areas to find. But the good cutler, food. Cu- cutlery is not that good. No, generally, that's cutlery now we eat with our we are Indian. We eat with our fingers, unlike. Gadi Mercedes yeah, don't know exactly. how to oh, use their fingers Abbas, to eat. Abbas, Mercedes gadi mein bed ke suddenly becomes Indian and eats with fingers. <laughs> I find that little tokenism if you don't mind me saying, brother. Yeah. Are you sitting in a Tata car? Which Indian car are you using? I, whatever person, then, whoever drops me. For someone who's the Modi uh, brought me on the bike. Shooting uh, uh, our episodes in a Volvo till a few weeks yeah, ago. Oh, that's yeah, a sponsor. Your sponsor yeah. still, is... Still, you're trying to protect him. <laughs> yeah. You're feeling bad. I mean, he's the guest, guest on today's episode. Disrespectful, I've got to do something. <laughs> well, you don't protect the other guests. She has made a fool of himself the other Yes, is not a guest. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a guest at the Manohar residence. Even there, they treat him badly. Yeah. No, but uh, I was watching. Uh, so uh, Rahul Gandhi is out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bharat Jodo Yatra. Yeah. He was. Uh, he did a video recently. He was eating bamboo chicken in somewhere in. Uh, I think was it Andhra? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. before Maharashtra. So, so Andhra, yeah. he was also. I mean, at least in the video, he was very involved in the cooking process with the women over there and everything. Yeah. And in the video, he was. In the I video, he was. <laughs> while walking, you know, with a frying pan in his hand, you know, because he has to continue the walk also. Yeah. yeah. So, but I he's thought, done pretty well, no, in terms of walking. He's walked all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You thought at any point he'd be like helicopter allowed? No, no, no. no. Mm. He's actually walked. Yeah. No, no. He's taken the first helicopter or plane just now. Yeah. Because he took a diversion uh, to this thing in Gujarat. Gujarat, yeah. yeah. To yeah. what is it called? Campaign in Gujarat. Yeah. yeah. Because if they are, first said they weren't going there, and then he's gone there to fight. Yeah, the he's big gone fight. as an individual. He hasn't taken the whole yatra over yeah, there. So. Yeah. How would you take the whole yatra in a helicopter? <laughs> I mean, more importantly, how do you take a whole Congress yatra in a BJP state? Yeah. I mean, Given the number of people left in the Congress, again. I think they will fit yeah, in a helicopter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the older ones, no. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They just start their own party. But yeah, yeah, but I thought that was quite interesting. The the whole bamboo chicken uh, thing and then uh, the way that he was See, eating. See, that's, that's a problem. Uh, hmm. Sorry, but the thing is that we have these five, six dishes that I've, I've been talking about this all the time, which everybody knows about. Yeah. But there's so much more to India and nobody knows about that. Yeah, and you know this bamboo chicken thing you get everywhere. I have eaten it in Andhra Pradesh. Oh, what a, yeah. what a yeah. dish that was. No, but still, no, no, eating no, no, it with no, the locals. Bamboo yeah. chicken. Yeah. Local. Yeah. Yeah. Bamboo chicken. Bamboo chicken. Bamboo chicken. It's everywhere. It's not here. I'll tell you. Yeah. It is predominantly Kunal tribal. Give the bamboo yeah. to him. Yeah. It looks yeah. like. And yeah. we, I was shooting years ago yeah. on the Andhra Pradesh and uh, Telangana border. Mm. Yeah. Uh, sorry, he caused the, the rift. Sorry, the Telangana and the Orissa border. Mm. Huh. And in a the really remote, yeah, in a really remote tribal area, they cook the bamboo chicken because that's how they, they you know they put Not things together that, right. rumor has it they wanted to cook ground. kunal because yeah. food was scarce <laughs> but luckily you were well protected in your mercedes <laughs> beds eating with the fingers mala fish pie je radio so kunal that's your contribution to the show <laughs> and i think we're out of topic so can, no no can i ask you you're going to israel uh, in yeah. in a few days is yeah. there anything you look forward to eating there well, just no vegetarian food for a break. I mean, of course, I, it's I, the I, Middle East. I, I don't over think. Over on the veg, you know, I had little salad here. Please and there. don't call Israel the Middle East. That's not a very But it is. <laughs> I know it is. I know it is. It's but the Middle is. Europe as well because it's three and a half hours behind. So I'm very confused. Yeah. Huh. Because Abu Dhabi is one and a half hours behind. And this was three and a half hours behind. There's not much difference between them. Mm. You know, it's like India and Pakistan go berserk and decide we just don't want to be next to each other. So I'll be four and a half hours behind. The other guy says, I'll be seven and a half hours behind. They just keep changing the time. You wake up, it's like, what? It's still Tuesday. Yes, because Pakistan changed their time. Yeah. It's something like that. Mm. Yeah. But no, I'll find out. I'm a, uh, because for me, unlike Kunal, who goes in the hinterland, I like to stay in the five star hotel, mm. look at room service, and whatever they understand from my accent, I eat that. Mm. You know, so so for him, Tel Aviv is going to be the same as Calcutta, is yeah. the same as anything, Absolutely. because it's, he's going to judge only the hotel room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, How what, was the hotel room uh, in Israel? Uh, uh, probably an Indian guy will pick up the phone. Like, yeah. you, know, <laughs> with, be, you want a steak? How you want a steak? Huh? How you want it? But <laughs> will you try some local food? 
you mean no. the, the ladies? No, no, no. <laughs> what, what is Ouch. He mean? What does he mean? You be careful in the hinterland. If you do, do mostly there, somewhere in Amravati, your body parts will be found. Huh? You be very careful. You can't do that. You can't just go there and start, you know, this guy's behavior is being atrocious. Yeah. I, Abbas, I'm just saying for the record, he's mm. got some bad stories. And I've had to pull him out of some scrapes yeah. sometimes. Because you have to talk to a lady before you actually, you know, <laughs> you have to actually have a conversation at least. I mean, limited door. Listen, really. I'm a very well-behaved fellow. He's of making course, up yeah. stories. He's yeah. always made up stories. Just because well. between the two of you, it's not hard person. to guess who's Abbas, the badly behaved person. That's, yeah. that's a stereotype. Badly that's behaved a stereotype. Person. I'm just louder. The fact of the matter is because he eats with his hands, he's just acting like he's a virtuous I do human not being. eat with my hands. I eat with uh, my fingers. fingers. <laughs> and sometimes my fingers because <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Only nine left. Yeah. yeah. All right. So now you're the anchor. So you can now ask Kunal proper topics. I thought we should just cover. No. Mein so Sparsh gave me mein a list of topics, which is I was, I was like, then it'll be just like a cock and bull. Yeah. So he's like, no, these are fairly uh, Kunal like centric, non topical topics. No, they are not. They are like uh, a bunch of things. Yeah. So uh, would you like to know what? They oh, are? by the way, for people yeah. listening, this is supposed to be a guest special. Huh? Yeah. It's not supposed to be a cock and bull. Exactly. Yeah. So you're supposed to be the guest. We are. Oh. You know, I'm honored. I'm honored. <laughs> yeah, I'm honored, yeah, you brought nothing to the table. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, the guest brings a lot. To, I mean, yeah. we had uh, Sekandar Kher was fantastic. It was really. Uh, we had uh, Jose. I, I watched. Oh, we will have Jose. Yeah. Bits and pieces of him. It was very good. It was very good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We become good friends now. And he uh, plays golf. He That's play, what I but got. No, he played golf. He played. Now golf. he's a successful actor. When you're not a successful, when when you don't have work, you're playing golf. You're playing golf. He okay. explained that very carefully. <laughs> Yeah. I see. So when you see me in the gym too long and all, you know the guy's yeah. got no work. You know yeah. this is all the way you, are, you know, judge that, people. That is why I'm no, not Arshad, sporting at all. Arshad Varsi was telling us uh, just before Munabai hit and he had a rebirth. He was struggling a little bit. Mm. And he, 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 I asked him, "What do you do?" He said, "I just go to the gym." <laughs> he says, "What? You just keep working?" He said, "What to do? There's nothing else to do." <laughs> this is pretty frank. And of course, then his career took off. Yeah. Mm. And he never went to the gym again. You can tell. <laughs> <laughs> but he got stuck playing circuit. Well, he had a good run for five. Oh, what is wrong, yeah? No, nothing's wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's a great. I think he's a good performer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he's a very good actor. Yeah, he's a great comedian, I think. Yeah, and circuit was very good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Kunal's favorite. Kunal has the posters, Munna Bhai and all mm. in his house. When he's eating food with his fingers, he <laughs> looks at all these for inspiration. Ha! Topics. So it was International Men's Day recently, oh, what a and uh, somebody on Twitter uh, called the Vagina Museum. This is the official handle of the of the Twitter of the Twitter account. Mm. They tweeted out a bunch of um, names of these men. Uh, so essentially, their idea was the names in the female reproductive system are named after men Famous who discovered scientists. them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Discovered they, them as in scientifically discovered them. Not, yeah. oh, wow, what's this, honey? <laughs> that, that's the vulgar, yeah. yeah. So this person wrote a thread of uh, the men who discovered these organs or uh, whatever, identified these parts, organs uh, and uh, named them. Hmm. So some of them are Gabriel Fallopio. Can you guess what 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 name? What yeah, the fallopian tubes. Yeah, yeah the fallopian, fallopian tubes. tubes uh, the name. <laughs> <laughs> There's Casper uh, Bartholin the Younger. Who discovered the Bartholin gland, glands? Gland, you said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ernst Grafen. You know what you said? Yeah. Please, Rishi. May no, I that. misspoke. I, I, no, no, I no. <laughs> no, this is the man who knuckles everyone. We'll knuckle him on this one. Yeah. Cast. Uh, no, where did uh, Ernst Grafenberg. I like the way you're acting like you're not interested. In this I, topic. I mean, <laughs> they're so boring. Names. Scientific. <laughs> and he's just waiting to say vulva, vagina. By the way, where do you think vagina comes from? Where? Vijaykar. <laughs> <laughs> First guy. Because he uses his fingers, na? Hey, bita. Bita. Fingers is the mal karte na, man. Okay. Yeah, please understand. Malanao, Vijaykar. Next thing you know, that's the name. But nah. you know, technically, if you're British, you can't pronounce Vijay. You don't say Vijay. Vijay. Vijay because Vijay. Finger can't get what? there. Are you giving a sex lesson? <laughs> I'm telling you. You go to Amravati and eat food so vagi- quietly. Vagina is the no, internal organ. Yeah, the act- outside is called the vulva. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah, there That's you go. Big, big wow. cars also. Wow. Kajar ka All vulva. the fun you. <laughs> this guy and his food and sex, how it goes together. This guy is great. Did you just say Kajar ka vulva? I just didn't say anything. <laughs> Don't act. Now you go to the avatar of Abbas, the beautiful, serious, tamizi guy. Let's get, yeah. let's get serious here. Kulam, what's your experience with all these things? So you have a sponsor also in the car, no? It's Bulba. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God they're not anymore. Okay, that, how will they ever come back now? I mean, how can we... Have, we can't let this guy loose. Yeah. No recharge for him. Yeah. Basically, you shot six episodes inside a Bulba. Yeah. <laughs> you do eat too brute. <laughs> but Ernst Grafenberg... You think you, you, think you, you do live off comedy alone? We need the pod. Huh. Ernst Grafenberg, who, what do you think he uh, sort of uh, identified? 
the burger? No. <laughs> We're still in the <laughs> yeah. reproductive system. But he just got bored. I'm hungry uh, now. He's the it's the namesake of the G spot. Ernst Grafenberg. But so, that's also yeah. debatable, no? Kunal says he's never found it. <laughs> the sen- <laughs> the sensitive spot on the front wall of the vagina, the G spot isn't a true anat- anatomical feature. Some people feel it, some don't. As in the women, yeah, the men always feel it. Ah, yeah, apparently, right. isn't, isn't there a ma- male <laughs> male G spot also somewhere in the prostate? Everywhere, <laughs> male G spot starts from the head and ends in the toe. No, you're confusing uh, it with erogenous zones. Uh, That's G spot is something different. Yeah, but our whole sexual uh, uh, experience is a little different, na. Hmm. I mean, you have to ask someone who's in between. Where's our antrix? <laughs> <laughs> you know, how, how do you taste both hmm. worlds? You know, there's only one guy who can answer that question. Oh, whatever. And then there are names and organs which I didn't even know existed. Like, uh, like penis. Some, no, someone called Herman Gartner is the namesake of the Gartner's duct. I don't know what a, where the Gartner's duct Take is. Take your pants off, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the kind of rubbish you have to put up with on the podcast, Kunal. Thanks yeah, for coming, think, elevating think, the class of the show. Uh, this is Sparish's... Uh, uh, Revenge. <laughs> Sparish's, uh, by the way, at this moment, as we do record this, Sparish is 102 fever. So you can forgive him for being delirious and this is what he thinks of. Yeah, he sent this to me li- at 11.30pm in the night. I don't He's understand. Like, the guy with the largest Spotify uh, listenership in India hmm. behaves like this. Uh, Sparsh is a musician, by the way. You haven't even met Sparsh, right? No, I haven't met Sparsh okay. yet. We'll oh, try really? to get a picture. He, he, poor chap, thought he'd meet Sparsh today, but Sparsh just didn't turn up. They have been communicating. But yeah, but I'm sure you've met Sparsh. You, you, he's been listen, in the office no, around. No, listen, the the same problem, see, the same problem is happening <laughs> with the Maharashtra <laughs> politics where everyone who wants to meet uh, Mr. Shinde can't get him. Hmm. You know, they're standing outside blocking Malwar Hill all the time, but they don't actually get to meet him. Of course. Hundreds of people from all across. From so where is he? But if he's not there... And I think he there. hides. Okay. And then suddenly the cars come out and he's hiding in the car and he's off somewhere else and everybody stops. That's what happens. And I'm told, protocol, protocol. <laughs> Fighting happens. Can I ask boring questions since I have the both of you? Yeah, can you leave us <laughs> <the> first? <laughs> uh, you remember the first time? I'm sure you said the sto- told told the story. The first time you met Kunal. Yeah, he's told the story. Yeah, story yeah. The, the, times. He auditioned for us. Actually, the no, actual we first time that. was the voiceover yeah. that where he was you, the Kunyas. Now you were doing a yeah, thing, yeah, and yeah. I came with Mishal Verma, who had the deepest voice in Samitha Bachchan. Okay. Who's been Who's been saying that he'd like to? He come wants to come on the podcast. podcast. You got a, he's got a great voice. He's sure. a, he has talent. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say something. Don't laugh. He's okay. a talent in MTV. <laughs> I knew, I knew So he hired you He was wrong He hired you <laughs> no, he, he hired him I'm senior I'm always senior Now I'm senior to everyone I mean, There's no one left yeah. But we had Saurabh Kanwar On the show a couple of days yeah, ago yeah, Saurabh came later What yeah. was he uh, Saurabh was marketing Okay Yeah hmm. Couldn't you tell from the hairstyle and all that Yeah kind of uh, The guys who do nothing And just have fancy haircuts so he would The sell, VJs and the marketing Yeah he would do. sell the talent Which was That's hired That's sales yeah. Okay. You don't follow corporate structure. <laughs> Not at all. But but to be honest, uh, no. Uh. So the programming and talent management was very important because uh-huh. so we came under him mm. and programming what mm. music played. And Michal Verma is more square than I am with music. Like uh, he grew up in Wellington Club with a great love for say Pink Floyd and the Doors mm. and that kind of music, mm. which is not on MTV mm. and no Hindi music, which became seventy percent of MTV. Yeah. So thirty percent was contemporary English and thirty seven percent Hindi. But that's the contemporary best. Hindi. No. And his knowledge was of seventies rock America. Yeah. So the right guy, right? But that's what I exactly. I remember clue? in yeah. while growing up, uh. MTV was like in Hindi music with English sensibilities. So it was like yeah, something like that. Yeah, it just, it just evolved like that. Then it became roadies. So there's no music on. Yeah, it. roadies came early 2000s. Yeah, no, I'm saying we just evolved. Yeah. No, first it was English music, Rocky music, mm. rock music, kind of. I don't know. <laughs> rocky no, music. They, they, no, but it was always music. I, I, I didn't. They, I, they started with English music. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Slowly, Why are you feeling cold? To so to <laughs> this is the vegetarian food. No, this is yeah, what's happened to you. Yeah. You become a weakling. It's the weight loss that makes oh, you. It's terrible. I find it's very sad when I see a man feeling cold like that in a hot country. I am also. I have. Cold right now. I'd like to apologize to the people watching Nobody cares. for your voice. No, for my voice and for my it sounds better. sniffling. Yeah, <laughs> sounds sexy. What Abbas is saying is yeah. voice is his strong point. Mm. He can't. It is. He's apologizing. I've told before, na people. Of, the voice is nothing. People of this podcast, when <laughs> they see me in real life, they're like, "You sound way better than you look." Wow. Yeah. They're so these fans <laughs> are so beautiful. <laughs> they really keep you keep you motivated. But huh. Kunal, were you uh, were you officially with MTV at, never, at any point? Never. Yeah, never. Yeah. I, I MTV is a youth channel. I know. <laughs> 
you are missing it for a chut channel it became that <laughs> no no i was never officially an mp i just hung around and went to parties and then for a very short while we I used him in uh, some shoots here and there no no bakra i did for a little while bakra he uh, produced for a little while little for another while. person okay. and nobody you acted in a couple you walked out of one uh, david polika uh, yeah. anarkali salim out of more things he had to he had to play akbar uh, salim anarkali yeah. where he's He wasn't told that he's not in the shot, and he's sitting there in Akbar costume <laughs> and five six hours. And finally, he said, "When is my shot? When is my shot?" And he was smoking and all those things. When is my shot? When is my? So finally, David Polka said, "Why are you here? The shot is not today." Yeah. <laughs> and he was in Goregaon, and then he threw. Kunal famously threw the sword. Uh-huh. It hit one spot boy. The guy died. Uh, he threw the the what do you call crown. this? The crown. He threw that 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 mace. You know the, all that crap. And that also what had happened armor. is that in the days of drinking, I had mm. drunk myself silly the previous night. Mm. Yeah. Managed to wake up somehow and yeah. land up at a six o'clock in the morning shoot. Yeah. I don't know. They and dressed then, him up and all, but they didn't take the I shot in for some reason. But this happens in shoot exactly sometimes. What happened no, that that's yeah, basically what happened. Time. I know because we were involved in the shoot. There were five, six of us characters, and we, he was. We nobody knew he was not involved at all. Hmm. Or oh, what happens? Just got late, so his shot obviously didn't happen. But they didn't tell him. So he was sitting there. And he was. You can't move. They have armor on and this and then the sword in his hand. It's very uncomfortable, Akbar. He was almost like an RSS <laughs> version of Akbar. You know, they, I don't want to be Akbar. It's like uh, that. And then he, you remember who the Anarkali was. No, not Anarkali. Uh, Anushka? Anushka? No, Amrita Arora was there. Amrita Arora ah, was there. Okay. She was not Correct. playing Anarkali, but she was saying some other character. Okay. It wasn't really... No, there was Salim uh, Anarkali, uh, which was... Uh, I, I, I wasn't Salim, I, I don't know. Uh, no, no, there was. The, yeah, one of the younger VJs. Mm. I think Anushka was Anarkali. Who had never heard Both of this. Akbar Who had never heard of this story. <laughs> Both Akbar <laughs> We had that problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's just this? too long ago. Yeah. 1624, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but I think uh, the main problem is Kunal wanted to put David Polycarp behind that wall and, you know... I mean, this was all playing out differently from the actual right. story if it was mm. true at all yeah. yeah not that i ever like to work hard so you know but what kunal used to do is we used to shoot love line in prabha devi huh. that famous uh, studio Me- bombay bombay labs, bombay labs bombay where labs. you know the mangeshkar sisters and kishor kumar and all sang everybody sang mm. great footprint mm. of history if you mm. follow indian entertainment mm. really big huh? no doubt all the big names yeah. you can think of in the 60s 70s and uh, and there was parking yeah. so he lives opposite it's 2 Ample, minutes away ample parking ample yeah. parking so he would come and join us for lunch and often he would bring food <laughs> so he was quite popular yeah. with the non vegetarian members of yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. of the unit yeah. because you know clearly it was a very biased food did you I, make I up questions for love line Batura, huh? did you make up fake questions for love no, line no no there was no need to we got mm. we never yeah, got less i can imagine we got really bad english mm. really bad questions and you know questions like suicide and all that which you had to avoid something yeah. they, they, they used to make up calls but we have often listen there's nobody the call the call the call, 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 call please the call problem was uh-huh. not that the calls were there but how do you have a system where they have to call within that time so right. we, we would get them to call and leave their number mm. so when you call them back mm. that person is not, not there available, yeah. those are young kids and we are shooting and these are this is landline days we should yeah. Friday, in, in the yeah, day they've all course. gone to college there's no mobiles right hmm. so then aunty takes the phone aunty is kaun saras kaun malika kaun love line kahan se aa gaya kaun hai aap log my my neha does not talk like this Um, because they also leave their problem because then we choose which problem to take and all. So mm. in that case, we were running out of time. There were five or six. Then we asked, "Kunal, can you modulate your voice? Voice can you become, <laughs> can you become a you know a puja?" Yeah. No. <laughs> he refused. He was he was like Salman. He just played himself. <laughs> <laughs> But he gave himself a new name. <laughs> Hi, this is Savitri. Aja, I am saying uh, I like this girl. Of course, she's so bo- this guy is so lazy. We have to send the question to him. So we take Savitri's question and now give it to him, and then he has to play that character literally. Yeah, that would uh, happen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was a good experience because you realize how how lonely people are, how they can't communicate, how young people across the country are so uncomfortable talking to their brothers, sisters, cousins, friends, but they'll talk to a stranger. Yeah, it's a phenomenon, and it's absolutely true. Then we got a psychiatrist on the show, mm. and so we start understanding more and more about how you know urban India things. But I think uh, things from then, which is nearly twenty years ago, has changed yeah. a little bit. I think people are a little bit more open. Those, those kids are married with kids. Media. So I tuned into the radio a couple of days ago, late night around eleven, eleven thirty. The Love Guru thing is still on. Okay, yeah. I don't know the guy. Which channel? Who, uh, is it? Might be ninety three point five. I'm not sure. Ninety three point five FM. <laughs> Which, what's the, the station name? Ninety three point five. Was was that Red? Red. Yes. Red. Yeah. I was on Red. Red for two years. Yeah. Yeah. Doing the Hindi show. Hindi show. Yeah. <laughs> With Asif. <laughs> Asif, who's thinks in Hindi. He's like he's uh. UP Allahabadi Hindi guy. Uh. We got along really well, but mm. in the end, I destroyed his Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> he left the he left the station. Me either hai. He couldn't get his grammar right. Was, like approach ke saath me kam karke karke me tapa ke. No, but I was getting at to the, to the questions the love guru still gets. Yeah. Uh, the methodology of people meeting has 
has changed now they use dating apps yeah, and this and social media and all of that yeah. like look at but you the problems you. are still their parents don't don't agree and they've thrown me out of the house i want yeah. to tell her i love her but i can't what about that basic question which haunts me which i wrote one? a book about it how huh? many men would write in saying i'm in love with this girl i i th- uh, i tell me what to do he's never seen her or met her she says and she doesn't know yeah yeah he's 1 km away yeah. he's uh, on a bus going uh, and all the kind of thing i mean it's like scary mm. this is the original stalker story yeah, yeah, yeah. but bhalo this but, is the base of every hindi film romance mm. yeah they they're always chasing somebody who they don't know but then, it's all distance uh, relationship but in every hindi film the male spends more time with the other male have you noticed that there's always because that's the men. conflict no he's not comfortable with females cyrus it sounds like a story life. yeah we will get aisha on this show yeah. <laughs> unbelievable yeah uh, shall we go to a break yeah let's take we a break we need to take a break yeah sparish thank you for putting us all together great time is had by all we'll take a break and come back in a second vijay kunalkar hey it's been another great week on the ivm podcast network on storytellers and story sellers vineet talks to the editor of tweak india rochelle pinto Their conversation ranges from Rochelle's writing origins and her steep learning curve in her early journalistic years. On Explain Like I'm 10, Meghna talks to Akash Banerji aka the Deshbhakt and to IVM producer Snehil on what is patriotism. On The Habit Coach, Ashden talks to Sneha Shah and Shashank Gupta, directors of Isra, on restructuring beliefs, thoughts and emotions. On Smarter with Sid Siddharth talks about the benefits of becoming a visiting faculty. On Pop Rap, Jalasmi Snehil and I talk about the comfort television and movies we like to watch to unwind. Once again, don't forget to visit our merch store on ivmpodcast.com. We have some exciting stuff for you over there. Follow us on social media. We are IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. If you like our show, spread the word. Tell your friends and don't forget to rate and review them wherever you're listening. You'll also find our shows on YouTube at youtube.com slash IBM podcasts. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week. Bumble, Heads Up for Tales, Kotak Privy League Program and HDFC Mutual Fund. Thank you for making this possible. I won't tell you about our show. <laughs> how many how many points do you, stars do you we have? Don't, we are waiting for you, one. You want, you want to know the, <laughs> the genuine answer to cloudy, that? Yeah. We are 4.5 on Apple Podcasts out of 5. What does that mean? 4.5 out of 5 is not is very good you think so yeah, yeah. 95% you ever got in your life over what's it what's it 4.5 out of 5 is not 95% of course the match is 10 out of 11 it's, it's in the 90s in the 90s won't be 95 90% it be somewhere between 90 95 I'll tell you accurately. Yeah. When you number up, you count your fingers. One, <laughs> two, three, four. Are you good four. in math? I, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> tell you a story. Why? He's one of the most beautiful stories I told my kids. You know, to give them confidence mm. in academics. Mm. He did really badly in in physics and math and math. So they uh, he failed the subjects, uh, or rather, he got like thirteen on hundred or something. No. <laughs> seven. <laughs> no, the first time it was thirteen. A seven, I got first time. Yeah. Then I reappeared yeah. and I got two. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, Abbas. The two was after they gave him tuition. <laughs> But so wait, from, which standard? Without the tutor, this? he got seven. Which standard? Ah. With the tutor, he got two. You Do really the maths. Yeah. Eleven standard. Twelve standard. Twelve standard. Oh, wow. Okay. So I ducked my twelve standard. Huh. Yeah. Two times. <laughs> yeah. Because they forced him. This is again the. What, was there no option to drop maths back then? Arey Baba, he put him in no, science. No, no. Look at this no, guy. No, I put science myself. also. You can drop. Uh, no, no, you can't drop. No, you can't drop. Maths and physics. Yeah, it's why HSC where you could drop anything. Yeah, you could maybe drop, not back you could then. Be dropped. But in my time, you could drop maths and take geography. So I took geography. No, in, no, science? in science. Yeah, no, in science. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you smoking, brother? Baba, <laughs> <laughs> you became your own state college now. board. I do history in two thousand five in state state board Maharashtra board. You could drop maths and take geography. I Something just dropped my phone. Down. I was yeah. talking about dropping, <laughs> dropping. <laughs> no, but I also uh, I did tenth in C CB- with CBSE and I got thirty three out of hundred, which was the dot in what in maths. Oh, which was the exact passing mark. Oh, is that so why you're always late? Because you can't read time. <laughs> okay. So the examiner clearly gave me grace marks to just yeah. put me. But, but but the point is loss of my story. My ha, what's story, the story? Yeah, which is that he got seven on hundred <laughs> without tuition. So they ha. got him a tutor, <laughs> and then he got two. <laughs> Now here's my question: ha. How do you do that? <laughs> I mean, it can't just be the tutor's fault. What if he just sat there? The tutor just sat there and said, "Better, you'll be a food specialist." ये मत कर। Time waste कर रहे हैं तो वो बिरयानी बनाओ। जा जा जा। I mean, just what a story. I, I, I blame parents a little bit. It's because we force kids. Hmm. Kids have a connect or a disconnect. Yeah, Sometimes it's not about intelligence. Hmm. If they're disconnected, you can't do anything. He, he has no interest in physics. But but my in my case, it was not my parents. It was me only hmm. because I wanted to actually go for either catering. 
hotel management or architecture and both mm-hmm. needed science that's, that's his favorite subject nobody knows about this he when we shoot in all this he's more happy in designing things making things looking at <coughs> background sets all this these things i would say without i don't want to cause any trouble and say whatever and sound right wing but he's on the line of heterosexuality in that sense mm. hello this like, is like, such a racist <laughs> thing. i i don't understand it's a terrible stereotype i don't understand I'm, 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 i'm what is what is i don't understand that guy listen i'm oh, what I, is hello, hello, hello. also an architect mm, yeah. i'm a graduate of the jj school of art <laughs> <He's> jj <laughs> i mean what it's a gay Zay-Zay. college uh, 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 not what? gay gay <laughs> jj baba kai bol to no but that is a very horrible stereotype yeah, there are very kidding, bro, yeah of course, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but he loves colors and this and all that i sometimes feel maybe he would have been really happy you never know with kids you force them or, or if they really no, no, intelligent the kids point, they can get, listen, get through it and whatever you, you are forgetting for the first 11 years of my life i was in advertising doing designing only yeah but that that, that, that's a very thing. fraudulent experience i'm saying where you, the actual thing where he's designing things and the you know tangible things that you design you may have been a happy man as an architect as a designer I think maybe I think you can still do it now. I don't think I could have worked less hours like I do right now if I was in any mm. That's mm. now your 68. But would you be richer? Uh, uh, 100%. Yeah, of course. I'd be richer if I did anything else. Anything. But I, if he taught physics as a tutor, <laughs> he'd be making money. But he they go look at what he's got to show. They go 70 though. There's got to be some parents who want to go the other way. Yeah. But yeah. you wanted to go into catering or architecture. Yeah, hotel management as it was uh-huh. called. Mm-hmm. And you said both required. Yeah, catering maths. sounds a little. And that's why no, it's required science. Science, right? HSC science. Uh-huh. So that's why I took admission in HSC science. Yeah, because hotel management requires science. Yeah, but without yeah, physics, days. how do you open the door? <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very important. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't think it requires uh, science know, today. Yeah. But in uh-huh. those days, for some reason, it did. Uh, okay. Or maybe it didn't even find out properly. Did, did. He went to first out himself <laughs> in science. There was no need. <laughs> he could have been the India's. I know, I, even in those days to get into a halfway decent science college uh, you needed about 80% yeah, marks yeah, okay yeah, yeah. and i had But 40% <laughs> also i'll tell you in our time the guys who went science were always the brains it was just very divided yeah, i yeah. don't know up to uh, your generation was the same or not but arts and commerce was like you know with limited uh, interest in in, in in studies and then suddenly to force that guy to go into science it's a bit tough it's a tough <coughs> act yeah but there was no interest in maths and for science me, No, I know, but in the sense yeah, that the system forced you because yeah, you had no option. I yeah. m- m- the mistakes that I only made, I only thought. Yeah, so you have to live your life again. Two things: more aerobics and. No, no, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By my time, the bifurcation was people who want to do dhanda take commerce, hmm. people who want to yeah, people want to do engineering, medicine, science, and arts. As now, as it's back a really then. stupid idea now. You know, the, because you left brain, right brain. I'm saying everybody has something they like. You know, uh, it's a cross generally with 90% of the population hmm. be a cross. Hmm. Yeah, like, uh, why can't you like history and chemistry, for hmm. example? But our systems never allowed us to do that. Yeah, that's you know, what I'm saying. But they, uh, now and I think in the West you have the whole thing about uh, if you take up arts, the only thing you can do is teach in a school. Yeah, yeah. is not not really true. Yeah, you could yeah, do law yeah. in those days. I mean, probably still can do law after arts. No law, you do if you're going yeah. to get into politics, no? Because then you yeah. say LLB, but there's no point. There was a study in the US recently of what's the degree that people regret the most getting, and number one in there was journalism. Hmm. What about pedigree? But this was an American. What's uh, a pedigree? You know, good breeding. <laughs> That's a degree. Yeah, we're sort of pedigree. Oh, I got oh, it now. God, he's, he's <laughs> very doing puns now. Yeah, your oh, your tutor, your tutor. I want to meet him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did have a maths tutor actually. His name was Shamim. Shamim sir, very. He how, was. How much did he charge for in your time? I don't know actually, but but he was he was expensive. Yeah, for my maths was sixty bucks an hour, and I go back to nineteen eighty nine. Sixty bucks an hour, and how many hours did would would he? Tutor? The year, the ten hundred year, eighty nine. But you guys at least were before all this Vidya Sagar classes and chart. No, 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 they were more expensive, Baba. I went to Pinge classes. Yeah, that was. Koi Noor, Pinge, Pinge Karyar, they were all there. They were all there. Agarwal was there. Yeah, Agarwal Pinge was there. Sinhal, Bhola, Bhola, <laughs> Bhola's classes. We had this card, boss. Yeah, because people would say with pride that they went to this class. I don't know why we went to school. Because everyone went to five classes after that. School was a waste of time. Yeah, because these classes were air conditioned. Yeah. And in those days, the schools were not. Uh, the fees were same as the school, man. Five thousand bucks a month and crap like that. It was ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. My sixty, Mr. Doshi would come sixty rupees an hour. And then Mr. Chandira Mani, not our Mr. Doshi. No, no, this, <laughs> but a relative. And, and then Mr. Chandira Mani later, uh-huh. who was this really large Sindhi gentleman who came, a gentleman who came from Daisar mm. to Malabar Hill, mm. and he would he would be like a performer. <laughs> Page seven, three B. 
It would be like that. So I was more fascinated with his personality than the the thing, the bat. So. But I had a tutor who was called uh, I don't know what his first name is, but he was Lard, hmm. L A U D Lard. Hmm. Okay, Maharashtra. We used to call him Lard Master. Hmm. He was really old. He used to come with a cane, walking stick, mm. hey, 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 with mm. dentures. Mm-hmm. So the best way to keep him occupied was give him a piece of chiki, <laughs> which he could, which he could not. <laughs> now you know why seven became two. <laughs> when lad put on two kilos. So he came. Come on, where did he go? And he couldn't. He couldn't. But he used to hit me with a stick. But, but that that brings the take a stick and come to tuitions. That's a very important point, right? Didn't mm. we all find ways to waste time? Yeah, yeah. Which of guy would not waste time, <laughs> sir? You watched the match yesterday at Mianda's six year. You know, like, what the hell? In fifteen minutes, and you look at the watch. Wow, yeah. what fun! But I got but whacked. Huh? He not enough. In the days when you could whack, whack yeah, yeah, yeah. He, school. Do you think kids should be whacked now? Uh, sometimes yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my own kids, so I don't know. Yeah. But uh, your kids also have whacked once or twice. <laughs> not really. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't whack them. So somebody needs to whack them. No? Yeah. But I mean, uh, not that I'm endorsing it. But but yeah. but, but but our yeah. teacher. So yeah. we had a Hindi teacher called Mrs. Wagmar. Okay. She used to do. You know what she used to do? She used to open the drawer like this. Put Take your finger inside. Oh. Put your finger inside. Oh, sh- 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 are you drawer. serious? Yeah. That is some sort of distinction. The drawer. Yeah. Then but she made sure the furniture the, was okay. There, yeah. there was a uh, there was a maths teacher who used to show, throw chalk pieces at you. Uh-huh. Like that. Yeah. This is Saint Mary's yeah. school. And then the duster. Uh-huh. Now you come yeah, from yeah, yeah. duster used to come flying. Uh-huh. <laughs> duster. Yeah. We but had Kunal, a, you weren't a bad guy. We had no, but we the Manik Unwalas and all would get it. No, no, uh-huh. where everybody is got it at some point. Uh-huh. Then there was a there was the principal uh-huh. the priest. Okay. Uh-huh. Who used to, you know in the old days you get these swords these fake you have a priest swords. with a sword <laughs> which religion which religion clarify again <laughs> what the hell is going we on we don't have to get into the history of the popes they uh, all uh, had uh, the swords uh, uh. but it was a plastic sword with a oh, sort plastic of sword plastic, you should have said remember, that first remember, I was a little worried with <laughs> with a plastic blade like this yeah, which uh, you uh, uh, whip with the uh, fuck uh, uh, bend over oh man fuck. <laughs> The so two, the two I, words you love to hear. <laughs> from that generation, I come from that generation yeah. of being whacked by. Yeah. Uh-huh. Also, at that time, plastic was great. They all mm. the teachers had it. If you're in education, you got plastic. You know. They also had those long rulers, no? The, the yeah, 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 yeah. Which the bendy ones. The bendy ones. The bendy ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We used to get yeah. it in the hand for some reason. They like the palm of the hand. We stung a lot, but it couldn't. Didn't leave really big marks or whatever. So you know, I mean, what if there's no, a little bit hand, the back of the hand, back of the thigh, knuckles, under, under the knuckles, bum. exactly, knuckles. Yeah. under the bum. Yeah. Knuckles. Then, on the knuckles. Then we had this one teacher who had body odor, so we didn't need anything. We were punished from the start. That was terrible. And in the monsoon, they would shut the windows where the girls would feel the cold and all that, and they would stay inside. The smell would just you know grow like a cancer. Mm. Kids died in my class. <laughs> You know, in the middle of you know a square plus two ab is equal to b square, or whatever that one was. Hmm. You guys remember that? I do. We should do a uh, <clears throat> smarter than a fifth grader. What's a show? Uh, Panchvi pass or whatever. We've done yeah, it. Yeah, right? pass. Shah Rukh Khan did it. Uh-huh. Yeah, he yeah. Ca- he's now in the sixth. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go to the AMAs? Yes, let's go to the AMAs because I've got a date uh, with my uh, what? Mary and Peter. <laughs> my dogs. Huh. Kunal, what do you look at I'm this? He's doing an Ayushi. <laughs> he's busy looking at other things and checking. You know, this is called Kajura no, pictures. No, no, your, it's not Kajura. Look, look. Open your eyes. Wear your glasses. Aisha, a Parsi affair. What is a Parsi affair? It's a place that delivers Parsi food. Oh, oh. I thought maybe her name is Franey. <laughs> and then what's the second thing? <coughs> By the way, he's got an iPhone 14. Huh? No, so it's, it's not lakhs. a 14. It's a 13. 13.5. 1 lakh 85,000. <laughs> There's this tutor who got him from 7 to 2. You failed him and made him a failure and today he's got a 2 lakh phone. <laughs> Just remember that. First of all, it's not two lakhs. It's under a lakh. It's not under a lakh. It's under the table. No, your right? wife wants to have lunch. Okay, but with you, so why are you telling me? I'm off the hook. Your problem is, Paisa. Okay, let's go to the AMAs. The first one comes from Shweta Bapat. Uh, Shweta asks, AMAs for Kunal. Number one, Cyrus always says, you're now more Aisha's friend than his. Why is that so? They spend more time together. Also, for all the Kunal bashing... Oh, one second. I'm getting a call. Let me just cut oh, this. What? <laughs> what? 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 I cut the call. Like, huh? we'll continue what with the, the hell, Navya? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Also, for all the Kunal bashing he does on the show, he also claims sledging is his love language. Is that true in general? And for you, no, sledging is my love language, but I don't sledge people I don't like. So, but the first, I, I don't. first part, I know he says, if I do that, then I'm looking for a fight. That's totally hmm. different. So you I'll say Kunal teach. is more Aisha's friend than yours. Why? Is they spend that? more time together, and they have more in common. Once I saw, they are cultured. No, they're aesthetically uh, inclined towards certain things. They both like color schemes, architecture, mm. roads, 
they discuss all those kind of things if you can get this is a man who doesn't know the uh-huh. world cup is happening in 2 weeks so he tells pavan acharya if there's a world cup i'll do P- fifa if there's a world cup so i thought he's taking side with the protesters or fifa is the character i do yeah. on, uh, okay. on, yeah. Uh, yeah. on on the news that was there so yeah so aisha and him spend more time uh, I, the irony here is aisha was not nice to him in, in the initial years because she mm. you know we used to drink and all that and she thought he was a bad influence not, <laughs> not realizing that he was the good influence trying to stop me <laughs> <laughs> but i just blame him yeah. so yeah so if you can get cyrus away from but you know who is close he keeps walking at you know looking at continuously all night all evening mm. then you can have because women in bikini you don't need who didn't have a phone yeah, cyrus not, yeah it's yeah. like a like a you know hey of you ask his you know, it's, daughter it's like when you find headphones the, in his ear it's like when you find uh, the g spot no then you keep <laughs> playing with it for a little while it's like that but uh, now he's closest to maya actually mm. and maya looks after maya dots after him she mm. actually that's his closest yeah, relative she's the most entertaining out of the whole yeah. family yeah <laughs> great to chat with yeah. Mm. and uh, yeah and i think so his two her. his two favorites would be maya and kayozi Mm. From the Bamans family, these two, I would say. I hope not to offend the other kids and all that. But these are the two who are closest to Kunal. And now let me explain that Maya is fifteen and Kaushik is about twenty-seven. <laughs> so and this fifty-nine-year-old man is hanging out with these young. So what? Yeah, wrong, yeah. Wrong, man. Nothing wrong until the police find out and the court case is filed. <laughs> until then, what is that? Okay, Shweta has a second question also. Uh, Post pancreatitis, Cyrus says he tempts you by eating stuff you like at the same table. Does he actually well, do that? It's embarrassing because Rubbish. because uh, now he's better, so he's eating a lot more. But he would come and sit there, mm. and what do we do? Because if there was a masoor ma goes or something which is really nice, and he which is what I can eat actually, I can eat the masoor. He's the example. Like, what, <laughs> what can you do? He's not really. You could. Your limited quant- quantity. What I would not there. eat, and I still don't eat because I'm just trying to go. Is maida wheat. Mm, mm. Yeah, you know that kind of stuff. Pooja, Neha, Shweta, Shaheen, <laughs> lots of people he can't eat anymore because <laughs> <laughs> he don't have the teeth. <laughs> Rohit Atre asks, one khao gali in Mumbai uh, where you love to eat and Cyrus hates it. Okay, he's asking for one place in Mumbai where you love to eat. See, but oh, uh, what's happened in his case? Uh, I think his cousin Rahul has become a big influence, who is a little more open with the palate. Is when we started going out less, like. Couple, uh, he started eating more veg food. Mm. We never ate any veg food. He was more. We, no, no. You want to believe this? He was more anti-veg than I was. I just didn't grow up with veg. As a young Muslim boy, you must know that we don't have veg in our culture much. So it's no, not our fault. No, but the thing is, no, no, in I'll, school I'll, I had Jain friends, so I'm used to vegetarian. But what do you read the food? Yeah. With, with no disrespect to anybody, yeah. uh, the, 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 I have a palate which is fairly open. Mm. Well, besides fish, I it wasn't everything. in the nineties. No, the thing is that where we name name one veg food. Ah, th- Baba, th- because you used to point out at Ma- come to Martin's and then you, you would let me talk. It was so much fun <laughs> with Martin's in Kulaba. <laughs> listen, listen, ah. it's the one place where we non-veg people don't feel like a minority because mm. there on the day it's all meat, 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 and yeah. then finally on one side is written. Uh, what is it? Vegetable of the day. No, and, and then no, you ask the guy. Not vegetable. Then you ask the guy. Vegetable. Mm. Ah, vegetable. <laughs> and then you ask. The, then, so there's one veg with us. We used to shoot bakra in that area, so I used to take the boys there. Uh-huh. There's a lot of veg guys. I said, "Oh, veg, veg. What will I get?" No idea. <laughs> There's like a token thing they've written there. Thought it. thought it through because nobody comes to Martin's, go in food and ask for veg. <laughs> so look, the, the people closest to me all mm. growing up mm. were the Parsis. Uh, Christians and my own community, mm. and all three make terrible uh, vegetarian food. Mm. So I couldn't, I couldn't eat it because I don't yeah. like it. Yeah, but the minute I started eating Gujarati food, which is really really nice, and now I'm beginning to eat all vegetables mm. if they are cooked nicely and properly, slightly raw. It's cannibalism because his movement is less and less, so it's like. So there's been an evolution on his end. Right? You can say oh, that. You can oh, say that. Both the pancreas thing. Definitely, I'm with my open. What are you eating right now while talking? I mean, I'm eating a pause. But that's not right. <laughs> this is just bad. Why? In the middle of a award-winning show, and <laughs> I'm opening my throat up. Yeah, don't what, open it up. What award, award have you won, up. Cyrus? I know. I've won many awards. No, no, you said award-winning show. The uh, podcast. Yeah. I told Amit we will design our own awards and give it to each other. Is that we should? Yeah. We should be the first guy yeah. in the space. It's a good idea. Good idea. Yeah. Mm. All we need is pan so parang, pan masala. He's been a first guy to his credit. He's yeah. been a first guy in a lot of spaces. Molesting, <laughs> <laughs> touching older ladies Ray, in Ray. public. Why are you cutting your own praise like that? You haven't watched Second the Care. He'll explain it to you. Wow. Some sort of sickness. <laughs> that also. Huh. But uh, first radio, mm. radio first, in, in virtually first proper, you know. What FM, are you saying? Is. Of course. What are you? I'm not comparing to Amin Sayani now. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't know Amin Sayani. Is. Of course, everybody know Amin knows Amin Sayani. Sayani. Yeah. Not the people listening. Mm. Of course, they know Amin Sayani. Our, our audience is under 17. Oh, right. So? <laughs> I'm a sexy papa. <laughs> do you know uh, Nikhil? Do you know Amin Sayani? No, I don't. Know. There you go. And Nikhil, how old is he? Is? And he's in radio. He's in. What was he? How old is he? 24. 24. 24. So that that market doesn't know Amin Sayani. What can we do? Yeah. Sad. You, 
Do you know Dilip Kumar? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But do you know Dilip Kumar on radio? <laughs> Sorry, we're having our own podcast now. Just okay, there's a but uh, you didn't answer the question, Rohit Atre. One one uh, place where you like eating, but he doesn't. All all vegetarian places. <laughs> no, no. But let me think. Uh. See, Bade Mia uh, lost its luster. We really mm. liked it yeah, I, in the nineties. <clears throat> but now I agree. Great. Once the many drinks. No, no, we didn't. Eat. Arey, Baba, we weren't exposed to so many other food mm. places because That's growing up, they were limited. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nuranis after mm. drinking, then this uh, this place. Ayub's mm. was there a little later. He likes Ayub's is still good. Huh? You like Ayub's, yeah? I like. But Ayub's doesn't give egg. You know, I like egg with everything. The ITC came and spoiled it for us because the quality of the The kebabs became mm. so good. Actually, right. this is that a problem with the, the road became a problem. Money. The, the <laughs> Correct. Food is just more tender. Yeah. No, no, it's not the problem with money. It's the problem with my money. <laughs> Because he's never paid for an ITC meal. <laughs> I have a the the gun uh, metaphor for me is like you know you have a gun you use it. If you have money you'll spend it. So mm. I just don't. I try not to. Guns okay. and money. I don't look for me to help you. King Julian that. asks, what would be your dream? Oh, one sec. What is the cow gully place that we don't like, or I don't like, or you also mm. don't like? Which is the place? Uh no, I think every cowgirl. I used to get very done. upset. Uh, uh, veg weddings and all. We used to we used to call each other and we were very worried because you dress up, you give money, piramni and all that, we, and then what do you do for food? We so those, always go to bade me after that. Yeah, mm. or before we pack the food mm. always, and then then bad stomach always. But what Cyrus does like vegetarian on the road is mm. those sandwiches and other. Oh, I love yeah. Mumbai sandwiches oh, I love and all that. that the veg that. Uh, uh, sandwich from the road with the tit bit see, masala. Mm. See with beetroot and mm. tomato, mm. onion, yeah. potato. But only from the road. Mom yeah, tried to yeah, make yeah. it horrible. Yeah, she won't watch this show. Very <laughs> really sensitive. Uh, yeah, so that I like bhel, I like chaat, all yeah. the bhel yeah. save, all that. all that. I like the dosa community, yeah. but I can't eat what you can eat. You, you, you become a veg. Yeah. I mean, I respect. I have, I have, I, I have, I have. Yeah. Yeah. What would be your dream meal? Any off-menu podcast fans? Any off-menu podcast fans? I don't know what you're trying to say. That is favorite starter, main course, side dish, dessert, and drink. They can be from any restaurant, India or slow, abroad. Slow. Uh, what is the first one? So for me, the for dream, me, dream no, meal for you, for you, Papa. They've called. If you had to have uh, a dream meal, which but go in order. Just say it again. Uh, starter, starter, honestly, starter, starter. Look, first. I can't give you specific dishes, hmm. but I can tell what you generally what kind of thing. A really good North Indian Mughlai Lucknowi hmm. kind of avadi meal, well made. Is something that I could, but he wants you to mix and match. I think just to see the options. No, so he's uh, uh, like given you categories. Like favorite great, starter, like great. Main uh, okay, so great, what's your favorite starter? Great kakori kebabs mm. would be as a starter. As a starter, okay. Main okay. course. So you're staying with like Navi then? Yeah. A good ran masala or mm. a great biryani. Mm. I'm, I'm with with I, a carb. I with, with, love with, biryani. What's it? The ran masala, ran masala with a bread or without a bread? With 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 naans, hot 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 naans or or. Uh, Because then you. Where's the best biryani you've had? There is uh, Jafar Bhai. Jafar Bhai, still number one. I, you know, I, world number one. And I have eaten biryani all over the country. Yeah, I remember you when you did the Lucknow episode of uh, the food King. show. You mm. ate outside the yes. Bada Imam Bada. Bada I think. Yeah. We cooked also. Yeah, and yeah. the thing is that the, and the Lucknow is told me, "Hamare yaha biryani nahi banti. Pulao. Uh-huh. Hamare yaha pulao banta hai." Uh-huh. So that is the Lucknow thing. But Hyderabadi biryani is also good. But nothing compares to my Bombay biryani from. So Jafar they have Bhai. a Lucknow antecedent, <clears throat> no? Uh, Jafar Bhai. No, I asked so, him. Where yeah, he yeah. Where from? Yeah. UP no, only. No, no, he might be from UP, but his uh, but his recipe was a he made it up. Correct. Yeah. It is called a Bombay biryani, and yeah. there is a there is a category called Bombay biryani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what about the dessert and drink to sign it off? Sahara <laughs> and to drink. Uh, <laughs> sorry, just lighting. Mm. Drink with alcoholic drink. Any uh, any or it can be a faluda. faluda yeah. No, I don't like. That. Then out of the normal non-alcoholic drinks, um, shoke and juice is my okay. favorite. Karne ka juice is mm. my favorite. We are roadside with, guys. Huh? With ginger yeah, yeah, yeah. and limbu in it. Mm. Yeah. With ginger and limbu in it. And uh, and the finger of Bhai Sab. <laughs> without that, there's no. <laughs> yeah, and there's, without the sweat love. and the spit, there's yeah. no helpful. And urine also Desert? running out. Oh. Dessert, uh, kulfi, yeah, Malai kulfi. Yeah, You're saying with Indian, but no, but I don't know. But dessert, uh, gulab jamun. Prefer, yeah, you a gulab jamun person? Uh, yeah, but not so much. Does he not look like a gulab jamun person? <laughs> <laughs> but I like I like Western question. desserts a lot. Like a okay. good lemon tart, uh, meringue. Yeah. Oof, <laughs> any loose woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your wife is okay. calling. Loose woman. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> your wife is calling. <laughs> you can't take the call live. I'm not taking the call. <laughs> okay, we'll take one last question. Yeah, yeah. This comes from Vin- out, of, out of fear, people. Out of fear. <laughs> Villanel twenty one asks. Please ask Kunal if he thinks it's high time he starts mentioning Cyrus in every episode of Khane Me Kya. You don't understand because do I do Kunal, that? as Kunal's, I mentioned on the live show, Kunal's, we have a drinking Kunal's game. Kunal's not a prick. <laughs> He's not a jerk personality. <laughs> He's not a loud mouth. He's mm. actually a soft-spoken, nice guy. Also, my show that. is not nonsense. 
That's true. So it's not nonsense. Yeah. It, I don't know what it is, but it's not nonsense. <laughs> yeah. so clearly ab- about yeah. something, unlike uh, our show. I would say it's a little slower than us. Us <laughs> 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 like four drunk people. Yeah. But uh, mm. all right, Kunal, we've got to wrap it up here because Aisha is calling, calling you, yeah. my wife, that is. And uh, so please take care of her, beta. Yeah. Yeah. I will Re- I return will her by evening. <laughs> return her by evening. Uh, that's dinner time. Uh, by the way, you're getting dinner from? No, I'm not. You said you're getting I'm dinner. I'm going out for dinner. But you said you're getting dinner. No. You, you tomorrow, already, tomorrow. No, you told us so they're not cooking in the house. No, no. I've told Maya yesterday that I'm not doing dinner. No, no. Come on. That's now, where am I going to get dinner Save from? Yeah. If although, I'm not although coming. this is playing <laughs> later, the dinner's over. Yeah. Get dinner, no? This luck now we call okay, we'll, we'll think about it. I don't Start know with the to... kebabs, then we'll yeah, yeah. warm our way through it. <laughs> and end with the Malai kulfi uh, no, without sugar, please. Because I can't have it with sugar. Of course. Yeah, but they make it without sugar also. Yeah. There's an option mm-hmm. using a sweet. It's now. quite nice. Yeah. The, uh, didn't you order it the other day? You ordered it. No, no, that Maya ordered it. Yeah, no. Maya ordered it. Did I pay for it? Did you pay for it? <laughs> you, you, you. Who do you think? Then it doesn't taste so sweet. <laughs> I'm, I'm training your daughter to do it He's on your phone. I'm training now. my daughter to get his revenge <laughs> to of do it on his phone. Get your father's phone. The first time we went out drinking, and all that there was a uh, we were very drunk and I took 200 bucks to uh, give the Ghorawala yeah, because so he was standing there was a horse in the morning very yeah. feeding animals and he was very it's such a he was very crackling t- backstory here but I'll, we don't have yeah, time yeah yeah you can go for the pun <laughs> he, he was very touched about the you know what insaniyat and all he had seen just compassion and empathy uh. and for the poor man and his horse and all uh. Rubbish. the third or fourth time money went from his funds <laughs> he was a little shaky about this whole charity thing it's very know? very good to be Read compassionate with other people's money you know? yeah. <laughs> it's like the it's like the Cheap in this is really yeah. fun, you know. Yeah. You give to him, <laughs> you give to him. It's like that. All right, guys, that's all yep. we have time for. Bye bye. Yes, yeah. bye bye. Please like and subscribe. I was just testing myself, I always do that from time to time. Yeah, like and subscribe to the channel ASAP.